Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, this is Osamu here, and this is uh, Pastor Paul, and uh, we're doing a, a series here. It's called uh, "The Close Encounters of the God Kind," and uh, what it is basically is that I know some of you out there, you you know that you've had actual supernatural encounters from the Lord, and what I mean about that is is like things like. Uh, you know that uh, angel sightings and uh, gold dust, feathers from heaven, and uh, you know seen angels at churches. And yeah, or in just, your bedroom. Yeah, closets. You know, and uh, you, things that you're afraid to talk about because you can't talk about it in, in church or your friends because they'll think you're crazy. And uh, you know, I just I just want to share something. Uh, I guess uh, since we're in a topic of angels. Uh, I had a situation one time where I was walking um, and I just lost the, my job and uh, I was going to be married to my wife and uh, you know you're feeling down with yourself and, and uh, <clears throat> this was in Venice and Venice California at the time a long time ago and I, was, I remember going to these different interviews and didn't get the jobs or whatever and, you know filling out applications and stuff and you know kind of feeling down or whatever <clears throat> so I remember one time I was walking down this uh, this street here and uh, all of a sudden there was this uh, <clears throat> homeless guy came up to me he was a, a colored person a black guy he was a <clears throat> street person coming up and I just knew that he was going to ask me for some money mm. so he came up and sure enough, he asked me. He says, uh, "You got any money on you?" And I said, uh, he "Says no, man. I just, I just lost my job. I have no money." And and, da -da -da. and then, uh, <clears throat> then, um, you know, I walked off. He went this way. Then he turned around and he says, "Are you sure you don't have any money?" And I said, "No. I told you, I, you know, I just lost my job and, and I don't have any money and, and all this stuff." And then all of a sudden, his eyes turned really bright. And uh, it was like a totally different person. And all of a sudden, he started singing a hymn, hymnal song. It was, I could tell it was a hymnal song. And I'd say, Jesus loves you, or something like that. And then all of a sudden, he said, uh, he said, don't, don't you ever feel like you're small, because you're not small in the eyes of the Lord. You're big in the eyes of the Lord. Mm. Then he turned around, and I turned around, and then he was gone. He mm. disappeared. Mm. And that was one of my angel encounters. Mm. And... and uh, I had one one another angel encounter where uh, <clears throat> I was just worshiping in the morning and uh, I felt like the Spirit of God said, you know, I want you to stand up in the middle of this one song and uh, I think it was called Receive Our Praise or something like that. And as soon as I did that, uh, I felt a presence on the, on the right hand side of me. And I looked around, and the side of the corner of my eye was an angel in the, in the corner right here. And, stuff. Mm. and uh, um, you know, it was just a person dressed in white, and I just knew. Mm. And uh, sometimes, <clears throat> you know, like one time, I also had a situation where uh, I was in a room, and all of a sudden, I, I sensed a presence, you know, on the right side of the room. And... Uh, you know, I did, um, that's, you know, when I was, not backslidden, but I was kind of like in, in that rut feeling, mm -hmm. not want to, you know, pray or whatever, and, and stuff like that, kind of rebelling because you're kind of ticked off regarding a situation, and I felt the presence there, you know. Hey, but brother, can, you tell, yeah. can you tell us about that time, about your, about your guitar, what, what, was, what, what went down with that? What happened with uh, that? Well, what happened was, uh, uh, we were at a, a worship service and, a, and uh, we did a, a thing called Bl uh, with Blessed International. It was a first Friday mm -hmm. meeting with uh, John Carter. <clears throat> and uh, we just had an intense uh, worship time. Mm -hmm. And by the time it was over, I went to get my gear basically. And the last thing that I left was a guitar stand. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I picked up this guitar stand, I was like, whoa. This guitar stand, what happened was uh, the top of it was all melted. Mm -hmm. The whole rubber part was all melted. And then the uh, the stem of it was, was, you could tell it was like rusted, meaning like it's been on fire kind of thing. 
and the bottom part was just like brand new. There was nothing wrong with it. And uh, I was like, you know, I was going, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. So I showed a couple of the pastors there, including Gun Crutter and stuff. And uh, so I had some people going, wow. And it was just a supernatural thing that yeah. that could not be explained. Yeah. And then the next day, I went to uh, go check on that guitar stack because I, you know, mm -hmm. wanted to see if that was, you know, because, you know, you have your doubts. But so I went back and said, sure enough, it's there. And my wife made an interesting comment. She said, uh, you know, why don't you go check out your guitar? Because the guitar was leaning on the guitar stand, too. Wow. And what was cool is that nothing happened to the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> but around the guitar wow. stand was all wow. rubbery melted. Wow. Wow. But you you had you had some supernatural encounters. Yeah, and lately the Lord just had a. It was last night, as a matter of fact. It was uh, an angel that was in, I was in my in the bedroom, but it was like a closet, like a walk-in closet. It was oh, like okay. just a, just the entry of the uh -huh. of, of the closet. And before I had always asked, Lord, I want to see angels. Oh. I want to see angels. The Lord's given me angels to see, like the, the kind of like you know, like an orb, an orb, but kind of like a. a a shadow, but this one last night huh. they showed me a shadow of this angel. It was like about eight wow. or ten feet tall, and it was just kind of peeking in. It was waiting for me to call it out to do to go battle for me, whatever I needed battle for. Wow! And it was asking, was saying, "Can I battle for you?" But I've got to get your permission to do this first. Wow! And that's what it was telling me last night. And I was just looking at it. I go, well, "Come on in, enjoy, you know, wow. come with me and enjoy yourself here with me." And it. It, went, it peaked out, but it still stayed its ground like it was waiting. It was waiting. Wow. So wow. sometimes I think the Lord sends us angels like that, like especially at our church. I've seen, you know, 15 foot angels wow. in the corners of each of uh, different people that were anointed, like the pastor, his wife, and they were in corners just waiting. Hmm. I've even seen portals in the ceiling kind of open up of, of the Lord, so like open like a trap door, like it's opening up. It's, but it was like a, it was like a shadow, but it was kind of like pulling apart, like he was pulling oh. down his glory on the people that, that were, were singing and all the people that were praising him. So this is just a couple of things that I saw. Wow. And I, I used to tell him, oh, well, maybe I'm just taking that. And the Lord kind of corrected <laughs> me. He said, don't do that. You know, don't do that. When I show you something, you take it for that. Wow. I didn't put him there just to put him there. That's right. I put it there for a reason, for to, to experience it for others, you know, so that they could see it too. So I believe the Lord, you know, He is doing signs and wonders in the last day, and I think He's manifesting Himself wow. in the last days more, wow. more so than He has. That's right. Or maybe more so because we're more open to it. Wow, that's true. That's true. It's, I, I like I like what you just said. You said uh, that uh, that He's showing the signs and wonders, and maybe He's doing it because we're open to it. And I think I, it's true that we could. Uh, it's like the Lord's kind of a, a gentleman. He won't force mm -hmm. it on anything on anybody. Yeah. But if it scares you, I remember my wife. <coughs> she um, would have dreams. She she told me this. She had, she would have dreams and then it will come true. Mm -hmm. and she had a dream one time about her boyfriend getting into a car wreck and she's all freaking mm -hmm. out. This is like high school or something like that. <coughs> and. Uh, she told her boyfriend, hey, uh, you know, you should go driving down to that this place because uh, I just saw you go into the car. And he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, it happened. Wow. It freaked her out. And then so she uh, <coughs> she asked the Lord if she, you know, not that, that she won't have that anymore. And then she didn't mm -hmm. for a while. And then I, I said uh, to my wife, I said, you know what, that was, that was a, a gifting from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you, I think you should ask for that because that's what you get, you know, the Lord gives you with. And maybe it's to warn people, to help people. So she prayed that and then she got it back. Wow. But uh, now you were saying about your angel encounters, like you would see orbs and stuff like that? Yeah, well, I remember one time we were over at, uh, over at, uh, over at uh, Laguna Beach. Okay. And there was orbs. And there was right, right. We had, pic we had, actually, had pictures. We had actually pictures. You should see that's that. right. I don't know if we can do that in the future, but show them those orbs. Maybe we can oh, do yeah, in the yeah. And show them this stuff. Yeah, yeah, they are. And a lot of people say, oh, no, it's just the camera. But that's not, uh, a bunch of cameras don't make mistakes like that's that. That's right. I, I think that's that, that's really uh, good for us to, to take in. Because the Lord says he'll pour his spirit on all flesh in the last days. Signs and wonders, That's visions. Right. Was that old men shall dream dreams? Yeah. Young men shall see, see visions. visions. Yeah. And that's what's happening. 
you know, and, and it would be good for you guys to write in and let us know. Yeah, let us know. Let us know what you've encountered, what the Lord's right. put on your heart. That's what this whole uh, <coughs> this whole program is about. Yes, right. And so, so you would see like round circle, like all this kind of thing. Yeah, they, they were like nice. they seemed like they were round, but they were like uh, like they were small, like little ones, being all over the place. Oh wow! Like, wow! In wow. fact, it was on your website. I seen one too. Where they you captured your yeah, like, that's right. Me. Different ones all over the place. Wow. You know? uh, so you would see this like in, in physically, right? Yeah. You would see that. Wow. That's now, uh, I think you also mentioned one time in your house that you saw like an angel and, and like a little girl, kind of thing, right? Was it like a little girl or was it just an angel? It was, it wasn't a little girl. No, it was an angel. Yeah, there's like, well, like I'll see angels like just run across the, the ceiling of, or the air, kind of like sideways, not up and down, but sideways, wow. just blow back and forth. Wow. Just float out like they're just checking out, like they're just waiting. Wow. And then they just scourge to different areas. Wow. And I, I don't know if it's to protect or if it's too annoying. Or you cast off those other spirits that wow. are there. I noticed one, one time, this is when I was married, uh, I noticed in this house, this beautiful house we lived in, and uh, my, my ex mother in law had passed away. And we all lamented and felt really bad and everything. Um, one night, I seen angels just flying through the whole house. I mean, wow. they, were, they were flying. They were going to here like this. And I think they were to protect my, my daughters and my son. The angels were there just to reassure them that everything's okay. Wow. Now, were they big angels? Yeah, they were like life sizes like me and you. Oh, really? Wow. Just flying through just different areas. <coughs> and they weren't like sitting down. They were flying freely. Wow. The Did you see? And I felt that spirit. No, I didn't see. I didn't see that. It seemed like that. I see like a robe off of these angels, kind of like robe. Like they were in robes. But they were like a, like a silhouette, but it was like a robe. I could tell it was oh, robe. Wow. But it seemed like they were there just to to, to take off the anguish, or uh -huh. they were there to, to administer wow. to a lot of people wow. in the house. And, and I ever since then, I always remember that. Wow. Something was bring back to me. You remember that time when those angels were? It was wow. for a purpose I was doing that to prepare you for your future of what you're going to see. Wow. That's that's just interesting, my brother, because uh, when I see angels, for some reason, they have no. I don't see wings. Mm. I haven't seen either. I haven't seen wings, but I'll see people. I'll see shadows. Yeah, I'll see yeah, the okay. shadows, yeah. but I'll see the ropes. Oh yeah, you know? I've seen the that. Ropes, you yeah. know what I mean? Like when that day when the Lord told me to pray, and then I went up, and uh, that angel mm. you know, said it was like a metal rope. Mm. You know, in fact. Uh, <clears throat> it was uh, my my father's funeral one time, and uh, they uh, took pictures of uh, you know, and uh, Asian people do that, you know, the Buddhist stuff. Yeah. Know, the so they take pictures of funerals and stuff, and each picture that uh, you know, the mortuary and all the stuff, there would be an orange light mm -hmm. on each picture of it, and then there's one picture which is uh, day of my dad's funeral. <clears throat> which was interesting is that in the front row there's nobody sitting there and the, after that all these other people were sitting but in the picture uh, I have that in my safe somewhere but you can see in the picture it was an outline of a, of a person on a row wow. but this person in the picture would have been about 9 feet or 8 feet high that big yeah. and, it, and there's one person said well you know that that's uh, whatever yeah, let's see if it's on the negative, and sure enough, it was wow. on the negative too. Wow! And and you could tell in the picture it was, it was an outline of the light of that person on it on the film. That's kind of neat. That was a long time ago. But go ahead, Mark. I was going to ask you a question. What you thought sure. about this? Do you think the Lord, uh, when a, when a loved one of ours passes away, do you think the Lord lets them hang out like their spirit or something, just to kind of console? The, the, the children, or just or just to be there, just to see, to kind of comfort them in any way. Does the Lord put that on your heart at all? I mean, people that you uh, love or that you know, and I just wondered about that. Yeah. Cause the reason I say that, my mother passed away like a year ago, uh -huh. in March of the year, and I just feel the presence uh -huh. of either her or the angel uh -huh. just hanging out there constantly, uh -huh. like just saying, don't worry, it's going to be okay, and, you know, I'm fine, right. you know, I'm fine now. And I get that feeling that, that the Lord's telling me, or my mom is conversing. I don't know if she's conversing, or if uh -huh. it's an angel, or if it's God. I can't figure that out. Right. But I wonder if the Lord lets that happen or not. Maybe He doesn't. Well, well, you know, if you if you put God in a box, 
Um, then it would say, um, well, let's, let's go, you know, going back to scripture, we know that the scripture says that, you know, absence for the body is presence for the Lord. Mm -hmm. and that's if you're saved. So we know that, you know, you're going to go into heaven, but then we know if you're not saved, you go directly to hell. Yeah. But then we also know in the Old Testament where, uh, I think it was Saul. Mm -hmm. Saul, I don't know if you remember that scripture, but it said Saul, uh, when he, uh, yeah, when he, when he, when he was not with, kind of like, he's kind of like, this is when Saul was kind of like fallen, mm -hmm. and he wasn't seeking the Lord, and he was doing all this stuff, so then he sank, he was seeking witches, remember, right, witch warlike yeah. with the witches, and they, they, uh, uh, you know, basically resurrected uh, with Saul, right? Mm -hmm. And Saul, you know, came up and, and was angry, right? Yeah, why are you bothering him? Yeah, why are you bothering him and all this stuff? So, so we see the instant in the Bible where, where actually uh, people have actually came and warned, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> wow. it could be like angels. It could, it could be angels. I think that's what it's probably yeah, is. Yeah, it could be an angels, or it could be, well, in your count, I think it's, it's angels, but, but in some people's counts, it could be mm, demons, too. Wow. But uh, I think, I think uh, uh, not putting God in a box, and this is why we're doing a series, is that I know a lot of you out there have supernatural encounters like that. And you might think that, you know, uh, uh, you know, is it from the God, or is it from the devil, or, you know, is this real, or is it just me, or, you know, there's a lot of people out there having the same uh, situation. And we want to tell you, it is God. It's real, and He is moving supernaturally. And I believe right now, it's just like a supernatural oh, yeah. thing going on. I right feel, now. I feel, I feel, I feel yeah, there's like a glow on. I don't know, but there's a glow on. But uh, I think, I don't know, I think with your mom thing, I...